Okay, these are other spaces within the hotel. Uh, in this particular photo, I am right outside of the room that I rented. It's on the second floor. And I would like you to pay attention to how my dress, the patterns in my dress, matches the patterns in the carpet. And I am um, a little bit recessed in the back of the image. And what takes a big precedence is this painting in the right-hand corner and the beautiful upholstery on this bench. On the left side, you see the brass color of the doorknob, and the doorknob is a very, the door itself is very, very dark. Again, the sides and the top and the bottom frame me within the image, and it actually speaks about the self-portrait as an art piece. And not only am I blending into the decor of the room itself or the space itself, I'm actually making myself into the art piece. So we see the framed art taking a big presence in the image and then you see me um, in the center as a focal point as well. So I'm talking about using myself and my body as art and uh, also photographing myself blending into the interior space. In this bottom image, this is called my dress. Again, my choice of attire is uh, matching the decor of the room. If you can see the color and the, the folds of the bed skirt, and you can see the color and actual pleats of the curtains themselves, you will notice that my night dress uh, follows a similar formal characteristic. Uh, what I really enjoy is this light blue teal color of the wall reflected inside the mirror of the armoire and this beautiful blue sky in the painted um, art piece that's framed on the opposite wall and that has a nice echo of the color of my nightdress. Again, in the space psychologically, you see me uh, in a domestic setting um, and you get the idea that I'm sort of pacing through this room. Um, and maybe I'm feeling restricted or confined within the space. Uh, somehow it doesn't match. Um, I'm very tense and, and um, not really belonging in this uh, domestic picture. Um, you get the sense that this room is, is quite large by how uh, it continues inside this, this mirror of the armoire. You can see bits and pieces of the furniture on the other side. This was actually one of the suites in the hotel. I really enjoy this image because it is uh, very close to another photo that I just showed you. Uh, you saw a state of where I'm posing in the foyer and I was sitting on the right hand side of the space. In this one, uh, it is earlier in the day, you can see that the lighting is very different. I am standing in the center of the hallway and I'm backlit. Uh, it's a little bit surreal, it's as if I just appeared in the space. I called it temporary residence because I was thinking of the idea as a hotel, as our temporary home. And if you see that there, there's a few people on the right hand side in the other room just going about their business and involved in their conversation. And uh, I'm taking over the space in order to um, recollect the um, feeling of um, home and the temporary residence. And, um, it's very close to the other one, although the locket here is closed. So when you're navigating the show and you're looking through the images, that's another clue as to the memorabilia that I bring to the photograph. Okay, now that you saw the series that started with Hotel St. Michelle, after that photo shoot, I continued on photographing myself in other people's homes, as if they were my own. So I wanted to continue working on the idea of home. As I mentioned before, um, the only period of my life that I stayed in the same house, the same condo, the same um, residence was when I was married. Before I was married, my family and I traveled quite a bit ever since I was at a very young age. Um, we left Egypt when I was two, we went to Central Africa until I was eight, we came to the U.S. when I was eight, and then we continued moving throughout the U.S. So my idea of home was not stable, it was always fleeting, temporary, um, and it actually something positive that I enjoyed. I don't look at it in a negative way. 
but I'm photographing myself in other people's homes, although they are not mine. And the images are devoid of any clutter or any personal effects. You get the sense that everything is, is um, organized and pristine, almost untouched, as if the space isn't really lived in. Um, but also the space of the interior, um, I always choose interesting interiors that uh, reflect a certain sense of place. So it, it's in full color and sometimes the colors are extremely vibrant and the, dec the decor and the decorations that the owner actually decided to place within the room um, speaks volumes about the, the place. And I put myself into that space as part of the portrait. So the decorations, the, de the furnishings, the pieces hanging on the wall, the light fixtures, everything in the interior is just as important as the portrait itself. In this one in particular, you see the chandelier um, taking over most of the central top half of the image. Um, and the, this is a Cocoa Beach condo. The bright yellow walls send a message, welcome to the beach. In Miami and in Florida, we have a very colorful, tropical atmosphere. And uh, this was a vacation rental. And um, so it is not, it's a cost between a hotel and an actual house. And on the walls, you see these butterfly um, hanging with some butterfly wings that are broken. But it goes very nicely with the triangulation of the butterfly wings, the triangulation of the table and uh, the triangulation of the light fixtures. And uh, the, the dress that I chose to wear also has these bright orange colors that complement the space itself. Also, there are some reflections here of my hands and my dress on the table. So uh, the space is very formal. Um, and again, I'm holding your gaze by staring right at the viewer and uh, commanding my presence within the room. All right, so with this one, uh, it's very similar. They go together. Uh, the walls were still in the same space. The walls are still bright yellow, very cheery. Uh, I really love the sunset picture in this one. You know, right outside this window, you do see a view of the water and uh, the sunrise and the palm trees. So I enjoy how this actual painting reflects the view outside but it also sends a message of the ideal beach destination. And the horizontal bands of the sunrise or sunset actually um, work with the horizontal orange stripes in my dress. And uh, also the pillows that are placed very carefully on the couch um, uh, add this sense of texture and um, splash of color and pattern. Also, the little speakers that are in the corners, uh, which is a surround sound, and you get this texture in the popcorn ceiling, and this fan uh, is just very exaggerated in size and, and uh, um, eclectic decoration. So I really enjoy every little piece that's in the photograph itself, and uh, again, the interior is just as important as the portrait. Okay, well, this is the last piece and the most recent piece in the current series. I am going to continue working on this um, project in the home and in different interior spaces. It's called Inherent Spaces. This seems to be a favorite among the viewers, and I really enjoy it because it's very different from the other ones. The other ones are a lot of um, sharp depth of field. Everything is really focused in the image. Here, you have motion blur. Um, the portrait of the young girl, she's spinning in the hallway, uh, it's called Rising. Um, you get this sense of freedom and celebration, and she's backlit, and the light behind her um, could be symbolic of a sense of enlightenment. And uh, you see this narrow hallway in a hotel, you see the carpet runner, but because of the use of the widening lens, uh, the space really opens up in front of you, although it's framing 